Welcome to the first installment of the Maker's Workbench Reviews. In today's episode, we're going to review the second generation 10,000 milliamp power bank from a company called Easy Accessory. Hello everyone, welcome to the first installment of the Maker's Workbench Reviews, a new series here on the Maker's Workbench YouTube channel where I review tech hardware and tools and other fun things. Um, I've been reviewing tech hardware for the better part of a decade and some of you have probably read my reviews on websites such as tweaktown.com, proclockers.com and even some reviews on the Maker's Workbench website. So today we're going to be looking at the easy accessory 10,000 milliamp hour um, power bank. Um, this power bank features two USB out ports, each capable of 2.4 amps a piece at 5 volts. Um, it's slim, it weighs just about a pound. Um, one of the really cool features is this little emergency flashlight. I can tell you this flashlight came in really handy during the haunt season when I had to run inside Plantation Blood to fix props that broke. So um, this is going to be a really quick review, probably less than five minutes. So I'm just going to get started. Um, I'm going to be testing the uh, power output of this with a charge doctor, um, USB power, I guess power meter. So I'm going to test both ports and then I'm going to test uh, on each device and then both devices at once. The devices I'm going to be testing with today is my LG G4 and my Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.5. Um, both of them are high amperage charging devices and I use them every day. So to get started, let's check out the LG G4. So we plug it up. I'm using the short cable that came with the uh, with the power bank. Um, so right now it shows we're charging at 1.7 ish amps um, at 5.14 volts. So this, this uh, LG G4 probably only consumes about 1.7 amps when charging, maybe up to maybe 1.9. Um, I haven't seen it, it consume anything above 1.9. Um, Certainly never seen it anything near 2.4. Um, so yeah, so we've let it charge for a few seconds and it's still at 1.79 amps and 5.14 volts. So let's check out the other port. We're getting about the same thing, 5.14 volts. at 1.6 amps, 1.55 amps, 1.78 amps. So let's check out the first port again into the much more power hungry Galaxy Tab 10.1. So this is this Galaxy Tab is at about 20% power and you can see it's charging at 5.13 volts at 1.7 amps. We'll let it cycle one more time to see if it settles. 5.13 volts. At 1.7 amps. Let's check out the other port. 5.13 volts at 1.7 amps. All right, so let's bring in a second. I'm going to go back to the first port. We're going to bring in another USB cable. And we're going to plug my phone into the other port. Now, um, port one is charging the, the tablet at 1.43 amps 
1.33 amps at 4.94 volts, 5 volts. So it does take a little bit of a hit um, when you're charging two devices. But even at 1.3 amps, um, my tablet should charge in about an hour. And the phone should charge in less than 45 to 50 minutes. Um, I've used this power bank extensively over the last month and a half. Um, a lot during the haunt season at the local haunted house I was doing some work at. And I've been able to charge my phone up to three times from this one power bank alone. Um, the LG G4 features a 3000 milliamp hour battery. And with this being a 10,000 milliamp power bank, I have just a little bit left over to get me through uh, a little boost in case the night runs long. Um, it's charged this tablet about two and a half times. Um, I'm not going to say to do a full three time charge because the battery is significantly bigger. I think it's a, I don't know exactly the specs on it, but I think it's bigger. Um, I've charged a friend's iPhone 5, 6, um, or iPhone 6, and then another friend's iPhone 5 several times as well. Um, and like I said, the little flashlight definitely comes in handy. So, um, if you want to hit the uh, link below in the description to the written review for this on themakersworkbench.com and there is a link to buy this on Amazon if you wish to do so. It Right now I think it's on sale for about $19 and I would definitely recommend it. If you like this video or want to see more videos like this, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you are feeling generous or would like to help us continue to do more stuff like this, please consider visiting our Patreon and becoming one of our patrons. Um, every dollar counts and it really helps to move us forward in doing more stuff like this. You can get all those links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Remember to hack the world and make awesome.